Nuclear waste will be transported from approximately 20 sites across England and Wales. We have waste containers that will be suitable to be transport containers. And we also have waste containers that will be placed within transport containers. To give you an idea of the size of these packages, they'll be about two meters tall, about two meters wide, and anywhere between two and six meters long. And weight-wise, they'll be between 40 and 65 tons, big packages. We don't yet know what the constraints will be on the GDF site itself. And we need to understand the constraints around the transport networks. Let's talk about rail, as the nuclear waste industry uses rail as the primary mode of transport. Trains such as this one will carry the nuclear waste packages as well as construction materials. Nuclear transport is carried out by specialist companies and people who are highly trained in the shipment of nuclear material. All shipments are carefully controlled and planned. They all have an approved security plan that the Office for Nuclear Regulation has signed off. High-risk packages are all tracked within a control room where the security team will be watching how they're moving in case they stop unexpectedly and to see if anything happens that's out of the ordinary. Nuclear transport by rail has been going on for much longer than most people realise. Since 1962, trains carrying nuclear materials have already covered over 13 and a half million miles across the UK. That's as far as going to the moon and back 20 times over, with no incidents involving the release of radioactive material. <laughs>